So hey guys, today I'm going to do a China Glaze nail polish review. This was requested by, I think it was Amy Nelson, I can't remember off the top of my head, if I'm, that's not your name I'm really sorry. Um, it will say in the info bar below who requested this. But yeah, she asked me to do a kind of review of China Glaze nail polish and I don't have very many. And she told me that if you want, if I wanted to get some more, Amazon is a really good place to get it. So thank you for saying that. I've put loads on my Christmas list now, I've seen it, but I didn't have time to order any before this video. I've pre I already filmed this video, but the lighting was just appalling. And I think I filmed what's in my bag as well, just after it. And I managed to fix the lighting, but I didn't have time to go back and film this video. So now I've got time, I'm going to film it today. Um, I've basically not got very many. I've got five, which might be a lot to you, but might not be a lot to you. Um, I have maybe blues and purples, which wasn't kind of just, you know, purposely, but when I bought them, I was kind of going for that colours. So I'm just going to go through which ones I've got. Um, I've got this one, which is Ghoulish Glow, which is the Halloween collection last year, I believe. I got it kind of December time with Amelia from Amelia Loves Beauty. It's just a glow in the dark one. It's quite cool. It doesn't it's not the best glow in the dark nail varnish, I've seen better, but I've seen what I've got. Then, I bought these two together, I'll show you this one first. This one is Av Avalanche, yes. Avalanche, which I did a kind of comparison with Barry M's eye look foil, I want to say. But yeah, this one's really pretty. So the next colour I have is this one by China Glaze and it is CG in the city, which is China Glaze in the city. Um, it's just this really pretty glittery one, which is quite opaque actually, it's a really good colour. The next one after that I have is this one um, called Frost Frostbite. I always want to say Frosted, but it's Frostbite by China Glaze, which is a really nice kind of electric blue colour. Very similar to Avon's, what's this colour? Cosmic Blue, very similar but not the same. I've done a whole video on that. And now the last one that I've got is this one from the Electro Pop collection and it is um, Electric Beat. Quite, nice, quite similar to 4 Audrey but not the same. So that's all the polishes that I have. I only have five, which isn't very many, but I kind of started to get more into OPI after I'd bought a few of them, so I was kind of like, yeah, OPI over China Glaze. But I do like China Glaze, just not as much as OPI. I find that their glitters are really, really nice, dense glitters, so this is very nice applied. And then some of their other colours, it really depends on colour. They're quite good, um, like, opacity, I want to say, but I don't know, they're not one coke polishes, like... It obviously depends which polish you get, but like this one, if you did a really thick coat, you could probably get like a one coat thing. And same with the other two, but really, if you want to make sure that they're really nice and they're glossy and, you know, two coats is necessary, which is the same with most polishes. But price-wise, they vary. You can buy them in Sally's for like £6.50ish, or you can go online on Amazon and get them for as little as about £4. Um, it just depends what colour that you want and, you know how rare it is, I suppose, on Amazon, as always with most products. But I wouldn't say that um, China Glaze is my favourite brand, which is why, obviously, I don't have many of them. And this is going to be a really rambly video, by the way, if you hadn't already twigged on that. But I do really like the glitters, so I'm interested in getting a couple more glitters. And I really like this colour. and these, So these two are my favourite, basically. I like this colour because it's very different. It's very bright. I do not like the brushes on China Glaze at all. They are pathetic compared to most um, brands brushes they are they've got kind of a very thickish brush I don't know if you'll see that very well it's sort of thick but not the best you know there's clearly ones that are better like um, compared to a brand like this one here the Avon ones this particular Avon one which is cosmic blue like I just said has quite a nice thick brush and you know I think this is probably cheaper or the same price I think it's cheaper than China Glaze. So I'll now cut to the video where I do swatches and then I'll Swatching here is Frostbite that. by China Glaze.
So that's one coat of Frostbite Next by Chloe. Next colour I have to swatch is Electric Beat, which is from the Electro Pop collection. They all, all China Glaze polishes have quite a distinctive, strong smell about them. I don't like the smell. Um, obviously, when they're dried, the smell goes, but if you don't like polishes that smell quite strongly, then I don't think China Glaze is the brand for you. But if you can get past that, then, you know, they are nice colours. So that's one coat of electric. Next up, I'm going to swatch Avalanche. Now, I think this is from some kind of a ski collection that they had a couple of years ago. But I don't remember the collection coming out or... Um, I don't really know what other colours were in the collection, so I couldn't tell you, but... Avalanche kind of sounds like a skiish colour, and I've researched it before, but I cannot remember how long. I think it was like 2010 or something, so it's quite a while ago. But that's Avalanche. Next, I'm going to swatch CG or China Glaze in the City, which is probably my favourite one out of the colours I have. This, this one? No, this one looks really pretty over Avalanche, which is the purplish one I just swatched. It kind of has a, I just want to say a matte finish when it dries. So if you don't like that, you may want to apply a top coat. And also this is probably the least nasty smelling one out of all of the collections. The collections? No, out of all of the ones so, I have. So last, but not by any means least, is a Ghoulish Glow. And, oh, sorry. Um... Sorry, that was someone's phone ringing. This is just a... I don't want to say it's completely clear because you can sort of see it's got a yellowish tinge, which you can't see because this is obviously like a natural nail look to the... What's it called? A nail wheel. So you can't really see it, but if it was over a colour, you can see it a bit better that it's got a yellowish tinge to it. So that's all the colours I've got. So overall, the... Price, I think, is a little bit overrated considering that, you know, they aren't the best polishes. Um, you do get 14mm in them, which is quite nice, and I do think they need to fix the brushes, do something better to them. I don't know what it is, but I do like their glitters, and I think some of their colours that are really different are really nice. But some of them are just dupable, and there's no point in getting a polish when you can get it cheaper for dupable. I know OPI are dupable, but... There's something about OPI, they're like nice glossiness, they've got big brushes, you know, you want to spend the extra money. But with Chan Glaze, I kind of find they're a bit borderline for me. Sometimes I'm like, is it really worth it? But, yeah. So, that's all I've got to say. I'm sorry if that's not quite what you had in mind, but I'm not really sure what I'm doing with these sorts of videos. So, if you've got any more questions about Chan Glaze polishes, leave them below. And if you've got any, like, if you've done a top 10 favourite China Glaze polish or any polishes, leave them below because I like watching those sort of videos. So, I'll see you next time. Bye!